Hello economic students, now that we know where the government sources its revenue from, mainly taxes, we're going to think about the other side of the budget, which is what does the government spend that revenue on, and that is called our expenses, or our government expenses. Uh, remember the budget is split into two sides, revenue and expenses. VCAR have given us three types of government expenses to think about or to learn, current expenses, capital expenses, and transfer payments. But before we do that, I want you to just think, if you were earning uh, an average wage in Australia of about $65,000 per annum, how much of that would you pay in tax to the government? And what would they do with that tax revenue? What would they spend it on? Pause and have a think. Well, if you guessed anywhere around $10,000, you would be right, because you would pay $11,509, $509 in taxes to the government. Uh, to give you an idea, if you were to get a graduate salary out of a university, you would earn somewhere around that, uh, that income and you'd be paying $11,000 to the government. So the question becomes, where does this money go? And in Australia, the ATO is very kind because whenever you pay your tax, whenever you submit your tax return, they actually break down every dollar for you. This is one I found online. And you can see that the majority of your taxes go to what we call welfare. Things like age pensions, disability pensions, family tax benefits, unemployed benefits, um, anything that sort of comes under that Centrelink banner. The next biggest expense in Australia is health. Two very important things, in fact, three very important things, and then education, and you can have a look down the list. Now, if we looked at this same data, but on a much more aggregate level, at the whole budget level, and over 2023-24, I think that last slide was a bit old, you can see the same thing uh, represented here. The majority of spending is on welfare, then the next is uh, health and education and defense. And if you're really interested in exactly where this money goes, you can Google uh, the 2023-24 budget and you can trawl through the budget documents and work out where every cent of government revenue went. And I think the government spent around 600 to 700 billion dollars in the 2000, or they predict that they will, they estimate that they will in the 2023-24 uh, budget year. So let's get into VCAR's uh, types of government spending. Now up until this point, we've been saying aggregate demand, the total expenditure in the economy is consumption spending or household spending, I, which is investment spending or business spending, and G, which is government spending. Now we're gonna break that government spending into two types, G1, and G2, and G1 is what we call current spending. Now, current spending is any day-to-day -day or sometimes called operational spending by the government. It's basically the costs of keeping all the different government departments open. The Department of Health, the Department of Immigration, the Department of Education, uh, all the departments of the government running. What does it cost to keep those running? And it actually is quite a lot. It's a big chunk of government spending. We call it government, uh, current spending because, well, it has a current benefit. Uh, because things like maintenance and cleaning and repairs and staff expenses benefit, uh, you know, in the current period. All right, let's have a look at the G2, which is capital spending. This is investment in government investment into physical assets. So it's the opposite of, well, it's not the opposite, but it, it has a future benefit compared to a current benefit of current spending. Uh, and we're talking about things like building new schools, building new infrastructure projects, building new roads and hospitals. All of these things that are being built today but have a benefit into the future. One of the big ones in Melbourne is the new Metro Tunnel, which I encourage you to go and have a look at if you're ever in the city or you can look it up on YouTube. The final type of spending is what we call transfer, spend, uh, transfer payments. Whoops, sorry. And these are really one-way payments. They're sometimes called... Uh, redistribution because you're redistributing money from one area of the economy to another area of the economy. But basically they're one-way payments that are not in, in exchange for any goods or services. So again, anything that comes under this Centrelink um, sort of banner, age pensions, youth allowance, job seeker payments for people looking for work, all these things which make Australia such a fantastic place to live, our safety net if you will, if anything happens to you, um, but again, these are one-way payments, so they are not in exchange for any good or service, which means they don't make up the aggregate demand formula and they only affect aggregate demand indirectly. All right, in the next video, we're looking at the budget outcome. Bye for now.